Hi there, everybody. Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Dead State. This is number three. Ow! Oh, that was unpleasant. That happened on camera. Oh, my God. I had, like, a big cut on my hand, and I just scraped the scab off on the side of my chair on accident. Ow! All right, time to get back to it. Time to get back to it. It doesn't affect anything. We ride! Rage Cage! Hopefully, we find, like, a foraging point around here somewhere. I'm sort of wondering if they fixed foraging or not. I would go hit Downtown Splendid... But I feel like it's a really terrible idea because I could probably die. We have far too many people taking far too much damage. In the previous episode, I had played badly. Ooh, 69 parts, giggity. Anyways, I don't think I was ever thought I would bring up 69 in a video, but there it is. 69 parts. I guess it kind of works because the parts are... Never mind, whatever. Whatever. Enough, enough attention. All right. So, it's going to give us four special items. Those are items that got to watch The Little Mermaid at school instead of going to math class. Which is my friend. I had a friend that got... Okay, so anyways, I'll get to that story in a minute. Food. We got 12 food. We got 1.5 gallons of fuel. Luxury items. We got 10. Is that or 1.0? I'm not sure. Parts we got 69 of. Alright. I'm glad you made it back. I can only imagine what it was like out there. It looks like you brought them all back with you. That's the first good news we've had in a while. We've been keeping supplies in the back room near the basement. If you have parts for the fence, you should put them on the shelf and I'll organize everything for repairs. We managed to secure the school interior. It'll hold for tonight, but we'll all sleep a lot more soundly when that fence is up. Anyways, you must be tired. We set up a bed for you in one of the classrooms upstairs. Go get some rest. We'll talk more in the morning. Thanks. I could use some sleep. Alright, we're not going to sleep right now. Well... My character's kind of beat up at the moment, so I think it might be a good idea. I don't know. I just don't know right now. I just don't know anything. I'm so confused about everything right now. Okay, let's go back over here. And while we're over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all up on this shelter storage shelf. Bam! And now what I'm going to do is let's have a look, actually. So he's just got a whole bunch of hammers, huh? He's got himself a whole bunch of hammers. All right, well... Let's stock things. It's weird that the show... A fine bourbon? Where the hell did we get a fine bourbon from? And where did all the other stuff go that I stocked here? Hmm. Did you guys seriously eat that much food in one day? Oh, Jesus. You hungry bastards! Slow down! Food rationing! Food rationing, everybody! God, we're in this communally! I was out scavenging. Where's my food? You left me a can- you left me a bottle of bourbon. That's it. You left me a bottle of bourbon. Y'all are killing me right now. Y'all are killing me. Anybody else got anything for me here? Renee Cass has that. Okay. Probably have her refill that. She's got a hammer. I'll probably have Renee Cass come, al like, come along with us from now on. Let's go ahead and drop off some of these goodies over here. What does this do? Used in a medical satchel and counts as five charges. Oh, okay. The first aid kit is actually going to help us refill our satchels. That's good. That's pretty sweet. I can get down with that. And then we need to need a cast over here. What does the hatchet do? The hatchet seems pretty awesome. A machete. A machete is a pretty threatening weapon. If somebody wields a machete, you give them a wide berth. Or whichever berth you prefer. Honestly, whatever berth they prefer, because they've got a machete, damn it. I should probably throw that in there, too. Although I'm afraid they're going to waste it. And let's test out... The combat knife is a good weapon. The combat knife is a really good weapon, because I think it only takes 3 AP, but it does, like... A ton of damage, if I remember correctly. And then I also want to look at some of these other melee weapons that we picked up. Something like the machete and the axe before I decide what we're going to do with it. I got a customized Tweedle Tim Toboggan. I, yeah, I have trouble saying his name without smiling. Tweedle Tim Toboggan. Alright. He was supposed to be Tweedle Time Toboggan, but unfortunately, I got Tweedle Tim. That was as far as we got. So, let me swap in the machete. And what does the machete do for me? 4 AP. Doesn't do that much damage. Does worse damage than the combat knife. K. Let's go ahead and remove that then. That's obviously not going to be a suitable option. What about Z? It's not a battle. I was going to call it a battle axe. Oh, that thing's terrible too. Okay, so we'll throw this all back in here. We're just going to use the combat knife from now on. We don't even need the hammer anymore. We can have our extra slot for something later on. I don't know. There's some other weapons that you can get later on in the game that actually take like 6 AP to swing, but they do an insane amount of damage, and sometimes it's way better to do that than to do anything else. So, for example, right there, 50 damage upwards. So, you can get three attacks right here, which puts him at, like, 51 to 69. Or, I don't know if this is already strength modified or not. I think it is including the strength modification, because if you look right here, it's native damage is 12 to 18. So, I think it is including the strength modification. Yeah, I think it's including it, the plus five that we have for... What's our strength? Six? I don't know. Maybe it adds... I was going to say, maybe it adds our strength, but we have six strength, so I don't know. 
I'm gonna come back down here. Actually, what do I need to come down here for? I don't need to come down here for anything. Meh. I don't need anything from you. The other thing we might consider, can she patch me up right now? I wish that she could. I hope that she can. Would that she could? It would be good. Mm, I guess not. There's no option to get myself helificated. The next thing we need to do, so basically we don't get to choose our squad until the next day. There will be, what will happen is they'll put a, where is it? They'll put a bulletin board up in the cafeteria. Damn it, where's the cafeteria? There it is. The last place I check. It's always in the last place you check. Alright, so there will be a bulletin board right here where we can schedule all the things that are going to happen. In case you were wondering, so there's that. I'm going to talk to her one more time and just see, since she's kind of unhinged lately. Elaine does not appear to be receptive to conversation. I, I think abusing her verbally is probably not the best plan for right now. Our bedroom is right here, and basically you just click on the bed and it allows you to sleep. And so there it is. We will end the day. I probably shouldn't right now, but oh well. I'm going to dismiss this, and so this is going to be your end of day check. Your end of day check is pretty good. I mean, the end of day check allows you to figure out what's good and what's not good. Over here, we've got luxury items. Wow, we actually took a big morale penalty right there. A huge morale penalty. That's going to be kind of brutal for us right now. We have preserved food. We have... Okay, so minus 18 food. We definitely need to do something about food right now, but morale is... Morale is bad. we got to fix that fence. we got to fix that fence, and it won't let us do it till today. Hey, I know we don't have many options, but please don't take my mom out there with you. She means well, and I get that, but if anything happened to her... Let's see here... I'll use a negotiation. I can do that. I'll make her understand. So basically, I didn't read that, but I said that if her mom doesn't go, she has to go. And that's what we're going to do. We should begin repairing the fence today. Do you have the supplies? Yep, found everything we need. Great, you should get the task assigned to some people here. I put up a task board in the cafeteria. You can assign people to jobs so that you know what they should be doing. Task boards. Anytime a task board shows up, you know you're in trouble. I'll make sure we keep track of everyone's progress so we can manage this place efficiently. For now, you should assign some people to repair the fence since we have the necessary components. Not a very complicated task, so anyone should be up to it. If we're going to fix this place up and hold out here, we're going to need more parts, food, and probably weapons. I know it's dangerous, but someone's going to have to go out and look for supplies. We'll only be able to work during daylight hours, so keep that in mind. That fence is our top priority. If anything happens to it, everyone here is at risk. As long as we keep it up, people won't worry about it. Got it. Keep it up. People won't worry about it. I'll go take a look at the task board. Also, if you have spare parts left, you may want to try and get that abandoned well on the property operational again. A source of fresh water could definitely help boost morale out here. Good idea. I'll look into it. I don't think the well was in the game the last time I played. I don't remember him mentioning that, but maybe I'm wrong. Okay, so the job board's going to be in the cafeteria down. Meow. And it's this right here. And so you can go over here and you can schedule all the various activities that are going to take place during the game. That's right, we are only just now getting to like the second part of the game, which is like managing things. It took us this many episodes to get here. Elaine Martin is uncooperative in a party. Okay, I think people become uncooperative once they're all like depressed out and stuff. So we've got Tweedle, we've got Joe, or Joel. We've got... I need Renee Cass in the party, because she's going to heal us and make our lives a little bit easier. And then we're going to leave Davis Cray can't really do much in the party. So you have to leave him back here to do stuff. But that's fine, actually. He's kind of like the Professor Xavier to the rest of our setup. So I think we'll probably fix the fence first. Is that over here? Okay, so let's fix the fence. We'll put him on fence repair. That'll give it 73 HP and preserve the fence. How many parts is that going to take, though? Oh, okay. So let's go ahead and I'll put in... I think that's all the parts that we have right there is 73. So I'll put in 50 for right now so that we can keep 23 extra parts. He'll start fixing. That's going to take 1.3 hours. Not too bad, actually, for fixing a fence. Typically, when I used to fix stuff, which I don't really anymore, you'll spend... Oh, nope, nope, nope. The next thing is Anita Cass is good at building stuff. So my recommendation for her... We have fortifications. We don't have a car... We want to repair the refrigerator. So it requires damaged refrigerator, mechanical skill, and five parts, I think. So while the school has a huge fridge in the cafeteria, it's malfunctioning. Once fixed, the refrigerator will prevent certain kinds of food from spoiling and therefore extend the quantity that can be yielded from them before the storage. I think that's actually probably not a terrible idea. We can also take different jobs right here. So you can give people a job as a custodian to keep the shelter clean. You can have somebody be a machinist, which makes her just produce random items and things like that. You can have maintenance, which means they go around, they fix toilets, they fix refrigerators, they do basic maintenance on everything that you have built right here. 
And so you want to keep all of your things up and running because when things break, people get grumpy. But the extent to which they get grumpy, I couldn't honestly tell you. She'll fix the refrigerator. Everybody else is in party. All right, you can pass time right here just in case you want to pass just a couple hours. Dismiss that real fast. And so now it's going to be time for us to go out on a away team again. Out on a away team again. I We need to be careful about our health, that's for sure. Because our health is a little bit lackluster right now. But we don't have enough food to where we can take a day off. So let's get back out there and see if maybe we can track down some useful supplies before we end the day. Alright, I'm going to kind of like swift around a little bit. I don't know. I'm going to, what is that? A human campsite. I guess we can go take a look at it. I've never seen this event before, so this might go very, very badly for us. We might get shot several times. It might be like a hunter's camp. Bad things could happen here. It wouldn't be outside the realm of the normal. I mean, I'm walking into their camp with a knife right now. I don't know if that's a good idea. Let's let's F5. Let's, let's save the game together, everyone. Let's save the game together. If I run around, maybe it's an abandoned campsite. A fisherman's bag. What you got for me, fisherman? Oh, hello. So, teach a man to fish and all that? That's actually kind of a big deal, as the survivalist in me right now is, like, jumping off, because a fishing rod is crazy useful. You can dig up worms, like, anywhere. An angry looter who is undamaged. Hold on. She can heal people. Okay, so he's healed for 32. Joel doesn't need the 32 right now, so I'm not going to worry about it. If you see the yellow right there, he can only heal up. He can't heal up to max, but you can heal up pretty substantially. It looks like there's a bunch of loot right there. I don't want to be a brigand, though, and, like, take out a bunch of people. Like, I really would like to avoid murdering anybody that I don't have to kill if I can help it. Over here, we've got a laptop. It's a data item. Various fragments of data lifted from multiple sources. Hopefully, piecing these together digitally can give you some answers or at least something amusing to read. All right. I've never seen those in the game either. New stuff to be found. I'm wondering if I can maybe... Oh, wow. There's a bunch of people here. I think this might be a bad plan. There's a hell of a lot of people here. I don't know. I mean, if I could shoot them with the gun, that might give us a nice start, but there's still a number of them here. How many bullets do we have for the gun, Joel? How you doing right now, man? Okay, so you have six rounds, and that's like it. This location, we may want to hit this later once we're better equipped. I'm a little bit nervous about where we're at right now with this. There's two guys over there. There's one guy over here. They're obviously going to try and close the gap pretty quickly once we open fire. However, there is the very distinct possibility that we could get a lot of stuff out of this place. Hmm. comes down to being a risk that we want to take or not. Having more people in the group, I think I'm going to come back with overwhelming force. I think that that's going to be my plan for right now. I'm going to come back with more people later on because I don't trust the fact that we can do something right here with three people. We saw one here, two over here, and who even knows? There could be three or four more over here and they could have guns or anything else. I We could scout around, but every time I scout around, it's, it's risky. So let's just go and... We'll go to Downtown Splendid, I guess. I was hoping to find loot nodes, like a Mason Supermarket. That might work. I don't see anything. I was hoping to find one of the locations where we could harvest. Unfortunately, I didn't find it there, so we'll go over to Downtown. We'll take this in order. We'll try and take this in order. We'll try and be safe about it, because I know there's a lot of combat in this game that we have to watch out for, and people getting wounded is kind of a long-term problem that you have no real short-term solution to. Got a dumpster over here with two parts in it. Yes, please. We'll take. That door is locked. There's another dumpster back here. That one's got a nasty-ass old moldy fruit. Might do if it's starving. It might be useless, but then again, maybe not. Sure, I'll bring it along. Maybe we can use it as fertilizer or something if we can build ourselves like a farm later on or something. I don't know. Just kind of thinking about it. All right, let me see if I can break this door down here. Somebody could come rushing out of here the second that I open it, so... I don't see anything just yet. Got a prep cook area. So spices and cooking utensils. 
useful things actually those are good for morale cooking utensils like basically being able to do the things that you could do in real life is always good uncle werewolf brand uncooked pot uncle werewolf that's got to be an inside joke for the developers that that name is too weird there's got to be a story behind it check our corners and make sure back behind the bar counter we've got bourbon we've got pork rinds and we've got soda okay i don't know there's a dinner table over there or a diner table i guess it's missing an n it's missing an extraneous N. Nobody in the bathroom. Is there like a medicine cabinet or anything in here? I doubt that there would be at a diner, but it's worth a look. I want to be careful about where we are right now. Considering we haven't taken a look at the central street. So we've got some honey. Honey keeps for a long ass time. In fact, I think they found honey in tombs and stuff that still is good. From like thousands of years ago. You can still eat it, although I wouldn't be the brave soul to volunteer for that one. Like, alright, who wants to volunteer to eat the 2,000 year old honey? I'm like, yeah. Get a sugar bar out of there. Nobody in here. We got some newspapers and some magazines. I don't see anybody, but they could be in the back. Let's go ahead and we're going to split up the party right now. I'm going to have Joel wait over here. We'll have Renee wait over here. She's the medic, so I need to keep her safe no matter what. If we can't keep the medic safe, then we're failing at our basic functions. You have to, have to, have to keep the medic safe. Oh, a potato? Okay. I'll take both of those. I don't really want the dead rat. It's perishable. Can be stocked as food. Better than apocalypse chicken. Mm-mm-mm. I'll leave it there on the produce stand. A looted freezer. I will take that right there. They're, they're sort of alluding to the fact that maybe that might be useful later on and so I'm not going to take the chance. Is this door open? Let's see here. Uh, I don't like that blind corner. Everybody else form up real fast. I mean I feel bad for the corner. It's blind and so you know obviously opportunity has not helped it out much but that doesn't mean I have to like it. I'm going to bring that just in case. Like I have... No, I keep clicking the wrong thing. Got to get reused to the UI. It's like you play a game a year ago, like a bit, and then you come back and it's just like you don't remember anything. You're just doing it all wrong. Get some tuna and some shampoo, actually. That's, that's good. Although, how do you decide who gets to use the various luxury items at your place? You know, that's the other thing. A jar of mayonnaise. Mm. Good thing we restocked our, or we started to repair our refrigerator, because that mayonnaise will go bad real quick. If you don't know what mayonnaise is, it's basically like egg white. It's like old egg white and something else. I don't know. I love mayonnaise, but maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just me. Can you only loot if you're within eye shot? Oh, you can only loot in eye shot? Okay, that's a little bit tougher. I just want to make sure we got everything. Then I'm going to mouse over everything just to make sure. Did I get the freezer? Okay, there was only a rat. I guess that I did. Okay, I felt like I didn't get the freezer, but I suppose it worked out. Check out area, what you got? Nothing? Alright. So let's cross the street. There's City Hall. Oh, that flag scared me right there. That shadow bouncing around was not doing it for me. Nothing here. God, it's so quiet. Music's freaking me out right now. Alright, so let's go ahead and kick that. Let's not go in follow mode. I want Joel over here just in case anything crazy happens and then Tweedle time I'm just gonna call him Tweedle time forget it he's Tweedle time he's not Tweedle Tim he's Tweedle time from now on Tweedle time will be right over here opening doors and basically I'm just following my precaution of keeping our medics safe we've got some ramen noodles okay I can't eat ramen anymore to be honest I eat ramen like every day for probably a year and a half two years in college and just can't do it cannot do it Ooh, bathroom stall. Two toilet papers. Hell yeah. Okay, so that'll... I mean, bringing that home put a smile on my face. Life is good as long as I can wipe my ass. I mean, you gotta look at the simple things in life. If you can wipe your ass, life is good. If you cannot, life is terrible, because that means you gotta go to drastic measures. The common children's rhyme comes to mind about being a man and using your hand, and that is that is not okay. Mm-mm. Not me. Not me. Coffee machine. Hey, got ourselves some coffee. Apocalypse coffee. How do you divide that up? Like, I'd be worried people kill each other over the last coffee. I probably wouldn't even bring it home. Sleepy angels always ring dead. A luxury item. A paperback detective novel. Sugar bars. CDs. Okay, so we've got CDs. I mean, 
Nobody really uses these anymore because of MP3s, but I'll take them. All right. I still have a CD player in my car. My car doesn't... Ooh, a bunch of food. Yep. That's how we do it. You know there's going to be a zombie in one of these rooms. There's no way we're getting off free like this without somebody getting bit or injured. It actually looks okay. Check the filing cabinet. A couple more luxury items that'll keep people happy. And I think that's pretty much everything. Let me make sure that I got all the filing cabinets and stuff in these other rooms. Because I do have the tendency to overlook details. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I always miss something in here. And so that would be it. I think I know that I got those. And I know that I got the desk. So I think we should be... A, oh, a magazine rack. Hold on. There we go. More luxury items. Keep people happy. Everybody form back up. I may actually have Joel go first since he's not the main character. I mean, I hate to sacrifice somebody like that, but sometimes you got to sacrifice somebody. Whoa, look at you, road warrior. A tough looter and a serious looter. It's okay. I like XM Radio, too. Wow, that guy is running up on me quick style. I may have to give him the bracca. Yeah, get some. Yep. Take it. Take it straight to the head. I'll probably move to here. See if I can club him. Okay, so he's stunned. Him being stunned is actually a good thing. I don't know entirely what that entails. You can't mouse over it or anything, can you? I think it lowers his AP, which is good because that huge thing that he's got on a stick right there is bad news for us. It's bad news. It's, it's bad news bears. Us. All right, cut him up. Oh, he's not dead? No! Oh, man, this is going to suck. Oh, he missed. He missed. Oh, my God. Oh, happy day, Kalukale. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. The looter missed. He missed. With his axe thing. What are you doing right now? He's stunned already. Just slice him up. Slice him up good. Slice him up real good. He's knocked out. Well, he's now dead. I can't take a chance. So let's move up to here. This guy's probably going to get to attack somebody. Namely, Joel. Ooh, shivved him. Damn, son. Slow your roll. Is that my blood? Yeah. All right, Joel. I need you to focus right now. All right, we got him stunned. Let's work on him. Come on. There you go. Give it to him. Just a scratch. It's a blunt implement, man. Maybe it does minor scratching damage. Who knows? He's... Or it's a she. She's badly wounded. Oh, no. She counterattacked. Does she have a screwdriver? I am not an appliance that needs fixing, my friend. And you are going to die. No way. Get some from Uncle Joel. There you go. Why are you an uncle? Is that just like an arbitrary family choice? Or do you like being referred to as an uncle? We didn't take any... Oh, well, no. He got shivved in the face. So now we can actually afford to give him medical help, though. It's worth it. So 32 HP right there. Good. Let's loot these bastards. Ooh. A brush hook. The hell is a brush hook? Oh, it's a sling blade. Like a longer blade. Sometimes called a Kaiser blade. <laughs> I haven't seen that movie in so long. Sling blade. French fried potatoes. I forgot about that movie until they made the reference. Once they made the reference, I was like, oh yeah, Sling Blade used to be a thing. I'm going to give the army to my... I'm sorry, I'm going to give the armor to my medic. The Sling Blade, I... I guess she can carry it with her, but you can't equip this stuff. That's the fun part here, is that all of these things are... Wait, you had a gun and you didn't use it? Why didn't you use your gun? I can't whistle if I eat too many crackers. That's my favorite Butters quote of all time. If you ever wonder what my favorite quote from South Park is of all time... My favorite quote is from Butter Butters, and it's in the episode where I think it's for some reason he talks to a nun about God or something like that. They're talking to a nun about what is this? A rising sun badge, a beautiful coppery badge representing the rising sun, the official insignia of the Australian army. This version seems rather old, probably from World War II. You have no idea how it got here, but it gives you a little hope that humanity can survive even those terrible hardships. Oh, interesting. I have no idea what that is, but it's an interesting reference. If that's a real thing, I like it. I like it when people reference like real things from like other countries that like you don't know about. Like I don't know what a rising sun badge is, and now I know. That's kind of oh a taser. Oh, tasing people. 
If you want to know my weaknesses in YouTube videos, my weakness is videos of people getting tasered, and my weakness is videos of people getting bit by snakes and or dogs. Both are, all three of those are funny to me for some reason. I don't know why. There's something inherently comical about somebody that's like, oh, hey, nice dog, and then they get bit. I, it might make me a terrible person, but don't judge me. Don't judge me. Being tased is hilarious as hell. Watching people get tased at, like, police academy and stuff is super funny. Like, my favorite part, you know the show To Catch a Predator? My favorite part of that show is when they try to run, and the cops tase them in the front yard with the little, the, the shooty taser thing. Oh, so funny. Every time, it's so funny. And they're total scumbags, too, so you don't even feel bad about it. I should probably equip her with a helmet. Let's see, it'll keep, it gives her a defense of one. There we go, so now she has a helmet on. I think we picked up a second data on another character. So yeah, we have two datas. We have unrecognized, what does the brush hook do? Like, how many AP does that cost? Is it worth it to use? 5 AP for 16 to 23, that means it'll be 5 AP on the main character for... Like 22 to 30, it is not worth it. That weapon is actually pretty terrible. I just fought off a yawn for all of you. I want you to know that. I just fought off a yawn. It's not because I'm... People are always like, are you feeling bored? No, I'm not feeling bored. It has nothing to do with boredom. Yawning is an involuntary action when your body needs more oxygen. Body needs more oxygen. It means you're not breathing heavily enough or you're talking too much in my case. What is this giant crater from? Like, what? what is that? That's like concerning. Alright, well, I don't know if I can sneak up on this guy. I would like to, but the consequences of messing this up are sort of severe. I mean, we just murdered his friends right behind him without getting caught, so, eh, go for it. Shiv him! It's weird how you attack from one space away. Like, I don't know why it keeps doing that, but it's, it's odd. Okay, so that one's, oh, this one's got a gun. Ooh, that's bad. Okay. Alright. Well. Hold on. I don't want to hit Tweedle time on accident. Oh, good. We got the stun off. Okay, so if you stun somebody, it lowers their AP, which means we'll only have to eat, like, one shot, I think. It's still going to hurt. It's still going to hurt real bad, but hopefully we'll be okay. I'm going to set her up back here so that she's behind him. And then we'll just wait for it. Hopefully that looter doesn't figure it out. What does the red exclamation point mean? Oh, it's panic! Okay, so we've got another looter coming. That looter's got a gun, so we need to deal with that looter pretty soon. Looter needs to be dealt with. This one's badly wounded, so let's keep that morale going down by shiving her a couple more times. Nothing is bad for morale like getting stabbed. Not that I would know, but... There we go. Get the hell on out of here. And then what I would actually recommend is that we get a little bit of distance between us and him. Or her. I can't tell right now if it has boobies, so... Maybe just hang out right here. I don't know how far that's going to shoot at us from. Okay, so not that far, obviously. Let me get in here. Put a couple knives across this guy. Shanky, shanky, shanky. Prison mode. Oh man. Prison mode did not go according to plan. You get in behind gun carrier. Unfortunately, you're not going to have enough AP to do anything because I backed up foolishly. Over on this side. All right, just surround surround the perpetrator. Hands behind your head. Yeah. all right. If not hands, then I'll put a hammer behind your head. Ow! You shot me twice. Why would you do such a thing? Now I'm going to stab you in the back of the head. This is a donkey stab. Just for you. Donkey stab. And both these guys need to go, like, execute them right now. I don't care that you want to die. You shot me, you dick. If you didn't want to die, why'd you shoot me? All right, so we got a bunch of guns and stuff over here, so that's nice. I like guns and stuff. Mostly guns and sometimes stuff, but you know how it goes. We definitely... I don't even know if we can bandage him again. I don't know if you can bandage twice. You can, but I think it gets less efficient each time. That's cool. That'll work. I mean, that'll get him back up and run. I don't know if I should be saving my metals. No! Did that actually use a charge? That was an accident. I don't like how it doesn't unclick. Oh man, I think I accidentally just used a charge, maybe. He's got a gun. That's actually good though, because he's been out of 38 rounds. We'll have him grab all that stuff. We got all kinds of guns and good stuff now. Six more bullets, that gives him 13. He got a couple reloads going, yeah. Can I unload these? Yes! I love it when you're able to do things that some games neglect. He can also technically equip a shoddy if he wants. 
It depends how badly you want to like point blank somebody with a double barrel, I guess. But for right now, I'm going to leave him where he's at. Can we loot these vehicles? Honestly, I got kind of sidetracked with that last combat. We did pick up... Does the eyewear count as any sort of defense? It's defense zero, so it doesn't look like it does anything, but you can put it on. Just in case you wanted to wear some like safety goggles. Get your... Your safety goggles? I don't know. I like safety goggles. I like the safety dance better. S, 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 A, 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 A. That song is infinitely... I don't think there's anybody that hates that song. That song is just infinitely likable in a weird, innocent way. Like, anybody that says they hate the safety dance, I'm not sure that I could trust them as a human being because it's just such a... It's such an enjoyable song. Like, even if you're not even... I'm not even into that kind of music. It's still just an enjoyable song. Like, eh, it's a classic. It's a classic. Yeah, Splendid PD didn't work because you're shouting at a door, man. God, Joel. Just... Look pretty, stand there and shoot people. Just don't talk anymore. <laughs> you ever have that person that you hang out with where you're just like, oh, please stop talking. Like, you gotta give them warnings before you go to, like, certain areas of town. You'd be like, listen, if you make a joke about this while we're in this area of town, we're probably gonna die. So don't make that joke, because I can see you thinking about it. Just keep it to yourself, man. Keep it to yourself. Don't, when you have a thought, just tra channel your inner Ron White and just let it go. Just let it go. Think the thought, but don't say it. Nobody's ever going to know if you just think the thought. I mean, as terrible as it might be, as long as you don't say it, you haven't given it physical form yet. You have not created sound waves with it, but once you make the sound waves, it's too late, man. They're bouncing around, everybody's hearing them, and then you get me killed by standing next to you. So, you know, I would prefer to not be killed by association today. I would prefer it. This is the police station. I think we can get some good... Woo! Okay, so... We've got a bullet vest and some combat booties. Hell yeah, put those on him. Since he's going to be on the front line a lot and he's our main character, I feel like since he's probably going to be our tank in the long term, this might be a good plan. Now, I don't know if this stuff needs to be repaired. Those count as a leg accessory? Okay. Cool. We're looking pretty good right now. Oh, it didn't change the way our feet look. Aw, disappointment. Thy name is unanimated feet. Ooh. A police shotgun. Yeah, I got ourselves like a Remington right there or something. Hell yeah. Okay, so that's way better than this weird hunting shotgun 1905 thing that he's got going on over here. I've never even seen a shotgun that looks like that outside of like museums or something. Everybody I know that has a shotgun looks like that. Either that or it's the tactical version where it's black with the flashlight on the bottom. People like tactical attachments for some reason. I don't know. I mean, I guess if you ever need a flashlight on your gun, it'll be nice to have one. I suppose. I mean, there's no sense not having it, I guess. I mean, you already got the gun, so you might as well make it all pimped out and shit. Evidence lockup. We got a buckler. Really? A buckler? Huh. No, no, no. Put the buckler Put the buckler back so that somebody else can loot it. Here, put the buckler back. I'm going to put that on my main character. I didn't know there were shields in this game. Oh, that's legit. We're getting into some awesome, like, Mad Max Thunderdome shit now. This is awesome. I'm excited. Hell yeah. Okay, so let's go... Equip that. Does it go in my offhand or does it go in my item slot? Let's see here. Well, the buckler restricts people to want. Can it go in weapon two? Oh, it only goes in weapon two. Okay. It's got a little star in the middle for it. So it can run. Oh my god, we're like a Norse warrior now. This is great. A Norse warrior with a combat knife. Some marksman's gloves. I was hoping those would be sap gloves, actually. Sap gloves. If you don't know what sap gloves are, so certain militaries and like different like special ops groups, their gloves will have weighted sand. They'll have basically like a padded part. It's basically a sandbag on the knuckles so that it'll be on the back of the hand and on the knuckles. So basically when they throw a punch, it's got way more weight behind. You got a better chance of knocking somebody the hell out if you have to. If you're going to get caught up in close range combat. Sap gloves I think are illegal though. I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to wear those. I think they count as brass knuckles. At least in California, there's a law that says that you can't have any item which braces the hand for physical damage that is made out of wood or metal or something like that. Of course, manufacturers have gotten around it now where nobody buys brass knuckles anymore. Everybody buys glass knuckles and they're made out of bulletproof glass. Their knuckles made out of bulletproof Lexan glass and they're still pretty gnarly. I mean, they're st <laughs> they definitely, they will do, oh, this door is indestructible? Well, fine then. I didn't want to come through that door anyways. I already came through the back door. Ugh. So that's what you get, lock up. That's what you get. I'm a little bit concerned that I may have left something. I don't want to do another sweep, though. I think we got everything. I'm pretty sure we nailed it all. 
over here on this side. That Remington shotgun is going to be useful later on. I think when we go to invade that campsite, we're probably going to want to go in guns loaded and strapped for combat, I think. I don't know what this buckler is doing for me right now. I'd be interested to know like what it modifies and how it helps our gameplay. Laundry machine has a blanket. That's actually pretty important too. Getting your hands on blankets. It's a good call. Some extra shoes. Shoes are very, very important in a survival situation. A good pair of shoes will last you a long time. And those are things that need to be replaced. People go through shoes real quick. Real quick. So Tank, I'm going to need you to check this back room just in case somebody tries to run up on us now. Nothing. I think they nerfed this map. I remember there being a lot more people in this map. Like, seriously, I remember this map being a tad more dangerous. A bit more laundry right there. Not going to complain about the fact that it's dirty and got weird stripy stains all over it. We'll deal with that later. Laundry is laundry at this point. I don't want to go into combat right now. Sorry about that. If I scared you as a viewer, that was my bad. I didn't mean to do so. It just kind of happened. Is somebody bugging out right now? What's going on? Okay, so we got gas in the car. We definitely want to make sure that we sweep all these cars. So let's go back in over here. Everybody get your broom. Shenanigans. Everybody get your broom. Okay, so we got gasoline. Let's make sure that we hit every single car properly. Because if we missed anything, it's going to be a big waste of time for us. I think we got everything, though. Pretty sure we got everything. Let's hit this car one more time over here. Because gasoline is going to be important for our generator later on. Obviously, in a survival situation, you want to conserve the Jenny as much as possible. It is it is prudent to do so. I guess we will leave the town then, and that's going to be the end of our episode. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcast for the next episode of Dead State by Double Bear Games. I will see you all in the next episode. Hi-do, everybody.